My name's James Morton. I like to bake, I love bread, as you can see. I've got a book coming out soon. It's called Brilliant Bread, and I'm very proud of it, so I hope you enjoy it. This is focaccia. Focaccia is one of my favorite breads. I may have put it in the basic bread section of my book, um, but that's because I believe you can manage it. Anyone can manage it. Focaccia is very, very wet, but you just need to know how to handle it. Okay, first we've got 500 grams of flour, and then, as always, mixing salt and instant yeast on either side of the bowl, rubbing those in. The idea of rubbing them in on different sides of the bowl is because salt kills yeast. Add in your large amount of water all at once, and even more liquid, some olive oil. Don't bother going for the extra virgin for here, that's for drizzling over the top, just normal olive oil is fine. And then mix it in. Persist, 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 and it will become a dough. We could quite happily leave that for half an hour. Um, the yeast will do its work, and it will be well kneaded after just half an hour just sitting there, and we won't have to worry about kneading. But because this is a very wet dough and I want for catch now, I'm going to knead it. There's a very special way to knead wet doughs. First and foremost, no flour on the table. Incorporating more flour into the dough, we don't want that. Second, just be patient. This, get, <laughs> this takes a wee while to get used to this, this kneading method. It's called the slap and fold. So you just put your hands underneath, lift it up, and slap it back down. Pull it towards you and fold it over the top. And then you go in from either side again and slap it back down. Already I can feel this becoming tighter in my hands. This is where it becomes particularly useful to own a dough scraper, because then you can just scrape it all into the middle, starting to look more and more like a dough. But you can see how it's holding its shape far, far more than it was before. If we just sprinkle some oil down here, plonk it on the oil, and shape it to a ball. And you can see that that once batter-like dough has become a nice smooth ball. And we'll just cover that and leave it to prove in the first instance for about an hour, hour and a half if, you're, uh, if you've got the extra time. And then we'll just flatten it out onto a tray and prove it once more for half an hour, an hour, and uh, it'll be perfect. So we're at the next stage in our focaccia baking, and we have a very aerated, proved wet dough. It's very stretchy. And basically, we're going to plonk that almost straight into this baking tray, which is what we're going to bake it in. Don't scrimp on the oil when it comes to focaccia, absolutely loads of it. Oiled hand, get round into that bowl. Pull out your beautiful alien creature place that in. Now we can see a problem that it's not filling the entire tray. So we're just going to, with our old hands, press it right down into the sides. So we're going to prove our focaccia dough now for a final hour or so before we cover it in sea salt, rosemary, whatever you like, and bake it in the oven for however long you like as well. This is our final proved focaccia dough. It's looking very bubbly and wobbly and so we're now gonna just use our finger to go right down into it and make lots of little holes just like the traditional catcher. and we're just gonna put a little bit more oil over the top plenty of the most expensive sea salt you can find and any flavors you wish to add over the top i'm using rosemary here i think it works particularly well that's just ready to go our focaccia should at this point be baked. It's been in the oven for about half an hour and I can see through the oven door it's looking quite gloriously golden. Our beautiful. It should just plop straight right out just like that. The last thing we do to our focaccia is just drown it in more extra virgin olive oil. 
isn't that fantastic.